Tensions are high in the scenes behind the ranch. The actors on the show may have gotten too good at picking up fights left, right, and center. Call it method acting, if you will. Let's talk about Kevin Costner, all those insane requests, and the future of everyone's favorite, succession for cowboys, Yellowstone. The drama on the set. One of primetime TV's most famous shows and the Paramount Network's crown jewels has been having a bit of trouble in paradise. Yellowstone, released in 2018, follows the family drama and tensions of the ultra-rich Dutton family, who own the largest ranch in the United States. The succession-esque show has everything you could ask for and from daddy issues, family politics, and even a spot of murder here and there. Things have been a little less civil on the set of Yellowstone recently. Seems like the soap opera drama from the show has slipped into real life and is causing a bit of bitterness between its cast and crew. A power struggle like no other, looks like Kevin Costner, the lead actor of the show, and showrunner Taylor Sheridan have been having a bit of a rift. From on-set challenges, spicy rumors, and disagreements, the set of Yellowstone has been a bit of a war zone recently. The result? Looks like Kevin Costner might be bidding his leading role farewell after the end of the fifth season. The star that made the show the mom's favorite primetime success is set to leave a series of not-so-savory events. Reports of the feuds between the leading man and showrunner on the quality of the writing and storyline were what caused things to turn sour. A wide variety of issues caused things to go from bad to worse as complaints and grievances rooted in scheduling disagreements, personal issues, and pay disputes became the root cause of the drama. Kevin Costner is one tough cookie and is famously headstrong on set, always getting his way in the projects he's a part of. Too bad good talent never comes without a little bit of drama on the sideline. Belloni told a correspondent at ET that there are some not-so-great feelings surrounding Costner. Rumor has it the actor's ego is bigger than the Dutton estate and is likely to have come out when it came to defending his baby, aka Yellowstone. Costner's been wanting to finally direct his passion project, a movie called Horizon, which, can you guess it, is a western that he's starring in and producing. This became another source of conflict between Costner and the showrunners. It's reasonable to expect the producers to demand Costner's full attention towards a project he was getting paid a pretty penny to be a part of. After all, $1.2 million per episode is a little more than just some petty lunch money. Naturally, headstrong as he is, Kevin Costner wasn't too happy to be called out. One last wish. While Costner is leaving the show, this old cowboy isn't going to go galloping into the sunset with a one last hurrah. Much like his gruff old brute of a character, Costner isn't going to let anyone but himself control the narrative. In come the wishes. Too bad there wasn't a genie on set to make them all come true. According to Puck News, Kevin Costner is currently refusing to work on the set of the TV show Yellowstone unless he is allowed to review and approve the conclusion of his character's story arc. News on the grapevine is that Costner wants to have a say in how his character is written off the show. He's not ready to be kicked off a horse to his death in a friendly polo match and demands that his character gets the send-off he deserves. Too bad the executive producers at Yellowstone aren't ready to let the old man call the shots. The tensions between Costner and the executives of Yellowstone have apparently escalated because the announcement of the series concluding after its fifth season was made without prior notification to Costner. As a result, the actor has chosen not to appear on set while production continues and the cast and crew work on the final episodes, which are scheduled to air in November. It is worth noting that Costner is currently earning a salary of $1.2 million per episode for the current season of the show. Losing the show is bound to put more than just a dent in his savings. Costner was also on the production team's back in some of the scheduling concerns. The star had requested that the remaining eight episodes in the first half of the latest fifth season be shot in an additional week. He was hoping that audiences would get to see the rest of the shot by the end of this summer instead of an extended hiatus. Alas, here we are. Another aspect of this concern was the actor's busy schedule. With delays in shooting, things didn't line up too smoothly for Costner. His representative said that he should be compensated for a shooting schedule that went haywire. The time commitment extended beyond just shooting, but going around promoting the newest season, which would get pushed forward too. 
Too bad the entire situation turned on its head and made Costner seem like a little bit of a cash grab for asking for extra money in exchange for extra time. Especially considering that he was getting paid a pretty penny in the first place. The Future of the Show Art indeed imitates life, only this time the power struggle and gritty politics became all too real. TV watchers all over America are sitting back and watching all the drama unfold. With four incredibly successful seasons, the fate of the show hangs in the balance. It's undeniable that Yellowstone wouldn't have had half the success it did without Costner as its poster boy. But ever since, things have changed and the universe Taylor Sheridan created has grown beyond an old man and his continual tantrums. The show is kicking boots with five spin-offs to the series and a universe expanding as far and wide as the Dutton family estate itself. So much so that Costner isn't as important as he'd like to be anymore. The universe has become a little more star-studded with the inclusion of Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren becoming part of the franchise. Not to mention the rumor of Matthew McConaughey joining the cast. Now that's what we call all right, all right, all right. Currently, the production has hit the brakes on season 5's production. Sheridan and everyone on the network are trying to mastermind a way of dealing with the elephant in the room. The question remains whether the show will even be able to continue without the leading man. According to Belloni, the future of Yellowstone is uncertain until a decision is made regarding Kevin Costner's involvement in the show. While fans are dying to know whether their favorite dysfunctional cowboy family will make it back for yet another season. They will likely either determine if Costner will return or if his character will be written out of the series. Once this choice is made, the remaining episodes of the current season can be finalized, filmed, and potentially aired in the fall. Talk about a stab in the back. The situation holds significant dramatic and financial implications because Yellowstone is currently the top-rated show on television in terms of viewership. Moreover, the success of the show has led to the creation of spin-off series and plans for more related shows, all of which rely on Costner as the central figure. At this point, the drama off-screen is becoming just as interesting as the drama on-screen. Let's hope no one ends up on the wrong end of a gun like in the show. In addition to Yellowstone, creator Taylor Sheridan has developed two prequel series, 1883 and 1923. The series explores the stories of different generations of the Dutton family, with Costner portraying the present-day patriarch. Summing it up, the fate of primetime television hangs in the balance and it's safe to say the race is on. In the Taylor Sheridan vs. Kevin Costner dispute, who'll take home the bigger bag and be crowned the winner of the ranch, uh, um, show. For more juicy updates on your favorite shows, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.